In this exercise, we're going to be implementing the assignment editing view for our gradebook application. Our objectives for this exercise are we are going to implement the assignment editing form JSP file. We're going to implement an MVC render command for switching to the editing view. We're going to implement MVC action commands for adding, editing, and deleting assignments. And finally, we're going to test the application by doing all three of those actions within the UI. Okay, as you can see, I've opened up Dev Studio once again. And we're going to start by creating an edit assignment.jsp file within our assignment folder where we were last exercise. So again, we're going to name that file edit assignment. And we'll go ahead and implement that according to our exercise code snippet. Make sure we save that. Now, if we were to take a look at the user interface in the browser, we can see that the plus icon for adding assignments is there. Uh, the button is wired in the get creation menu method in the assignments management toolbar display context Java class. However, at this point, while the plus sign is rendered, uh, we can't currently do anything with it. So what we need to do is create the MVC commands that allow us to actually go ahead and add, edit, and delete assignments. So we'll start by creating a class. within our web.portlet.action package. And we're going to call that class edit assignment MVC render command. And we'll go ahead and implement that according to our code snippet. Make sure we save that. So at this point, if you were to test adding a assignment in our gradebook application, uh, we would be able to see the editing form. However, it's not going to work yet. We still need to implement an MVC action command to handle the form submits. So as I alluded to earlier, we're going to need MVC action commands to handle adding, editing, and deleting assignments. A single command can handle multiple command names, so we can handle adding and editing cases within the same class. For better modularity, however, we'll choose to implement these use cases within their own separate classes. So we'll start by adding a new class and calling it add assignment. MVC action command. And we'll implement that according to our code snippet. We'll 
will save. Next, we'll add a class that we're going to call Edit Assignment MVC Action Command. implement that according to our code snippet. Save. And finally, We'll add a class called delete assignment MVC action command. And we'll implement that according to our code set. So at this point, we'll go ahead and hop over to the UI to test out our newly added code. As you can see, I'm now in the UI for our instance of Liferay DXP. I'll go ahead and refresh the page. And now we're going to go ahead and test out adding an assignment. So we'll click that uh, plus button. We'll type a title. We'll go ahead and type test assignment. Uh, for our description, we can just write this is a test assignment. Due date of today is fine. We'll click save. And as you can see, it shows up in our assignment list. Now at this point, we can go ahead and edit that assignment. For example, I could say this is not a test assignment to really confuse people. And we can also, if we so choose, delete that test assignment. And as you can see, that test assignment has been deleted from our assignment list.